Hey YouTube, Brian Fire here. Uh, I know it's kind of been a little bit, uh, maybe a week or so, or two, since I made a video. But uh, I want to really talk to you real quick about this um, tobacco that I've been smoking lately uh, from Selms called Musketeer. See that? It's a burly Cavendish mix. Um, and uh, one of the unique things about uh, this tobacco is that it's a, a cube cut barley um, with really with a really black tasty Cavendish uh, it's supposed to have somewhat of a vanilla hint to it and, you know, obviously it's an aromatic. I will say, though, it, you know, it's a good change um, from some of the other Solemns. Uh, blends. The black and the red, uh, which I've, I've smoked uh, numerous times. It's kind of humid in here, it like, doesn't want to stay lit. There we go. If you're uh, if you're if you're an aromatic smoker and you want to try something just a little bit different, um, with the uh, the burley being cube cut and it's ve teeny, very small uh, cubes. Um, I haven't seen that before. Uh, the black Cavendish by itself uh, brings out a good sweetness to it, good taste. Uh, I'm not one for really doing too many in-depth tobacco reviews. And I uh, kind of just tried this one on a whim. I, I saw it on the shelf at um, my local B&M and you know I had good luck with uh, other Selim's blends that I've tried. So I figured I would just give it a shot. Definitely was worth it. Um, you know, if you if you're an aromatic smoker and you haven't tried it, or you haven't tried any of the Silums uh, brands uh, blends, I mean, uh, it's definitely worth a shot to try it. it. Might just surprise you. everybody doing these uh, end of the year new year videos uh, I just want to say that uh, I hope everybody is is doing well and everybody stays healthy and prospers in the new year everybody's uh, family every good and taken care stuck here in my little uh, corner of the world in South Florida where even now it's even though it's raining outside so there's a little humidity it's probably uh, it's probably close to about 80 degrees here right now you know we're just in the beginning of January but the weather here stays cool for the most part through March and then it starts to get sweltering hot again <laughs> well 
winters here are kind of like our rainy season. I really like the taste of this, uh, this blonde. That's funny, I tried, I tried smoking it in, uh, in my custom belt the other day, and I'm definitely getting a, a different taste from it, uh, in this, and while I'm at it, I might as well do my housekeeping. Uh, this is, uh, Mario Grande, uh, Egg, I don't know what you would call this, really kind of this shape here, but it's uh, one of my older ones from him. Uh, it has uh, like an amber calico type stem on it. It's kind of dark, you really can't see it in here, and the light's probably not that good, but. It's a good little smoking pipe, but I do notice a difference in the taste. Although the humidity here is kind of crazy for uh, pipe smoking right now. And I did try some, also, in one of my clay pipes. Uh, you know, and I would have to say that... Smoking from a clay pipe... For me, is... Is kind of like smoking from a cop. Um, from this, like this Missouri Meerschaum. The clay really doesn't hold or capture any ghost. It doesn't, uh, there isn't any layover from any previous bowls or anything. Um, very similar to the cob. Uh, I, I mean, unless you really burn it into the cob, you're not going to get that. You, you're not going to get a ghost from any other blend. But, you will pick up more subtle nuances in the tobacco from smoking a clay pipe. I definitely notice the difference. Uh, I definitely pick up different tastes using it. Downside, I mean the bowl is a little small uh, on this, so really by the time you're just getting into the smoke, um, and tasting the tobacco that your time is almost up so but they do make larger ones that just happens to be I happen to have a small one uh, but yeah this stuff uh, definitely worth a try you know you definitely it has a subtle For an aromatic, it's it's subtle. It's not overbearing. The cap on it is not that drugstore cough syrup type. Uh, it's definitely vanilla. You can taste from from the Cavendish and just a just a nice, easy, even smoke. Give it a try. You get a chance. See what you think. Um, that was my two cents for tonight. We're going to make a quick video. Say hi to everybody.
up there. I hope all of you take care. And I wish you all a Happy New Year. Bye now.